the Armenian community in Egypt was such a big and a huge one, and now it's not that huge. Some of them decided to go to Armenia, and some decided to stay here. Why have you decided to stay here? Uh, well, to start with, the Egyptian, the Armenians in Egypt, they uh, they are in Egypt since the Fatimid uh, period. Uh, so it's a very, quite an ancient uh, mm -hmm. uh, community, and uh, it had its ups and downs uh, in Egypt. Uh, uh, it prospered uh, more uh, in the 60s when we were about 30, 35,000. Uh, during the Ottoman period, we had even uh, the prime minister of Egypt, the first prime minister of Egypt was an Armenian. Nubar mm Basha, -hmm. uh, who had many important achievements. Uh, so uh, we are rooted here, mm -hmm. and uh, most of the Armenians left the country, uh, in, of the local Egyptian Armenian community, left the country mm -hmm. in the 60s, uh, 62, 63. Um, but the trend of, uh, of um, For some political reasons? Uh, a little bit of political reasons, the nationalization, especially mm -hmm. uh, at that time. Mm -hmm. uh, but after that, immigration uh, uh, stopped. I mean, most of the Armenians stayed in Egypt. Those who left, left. Mm -hmm. uh, from, so from 30,000, we are down maybe to 5,000 in Egypt. But we, I think this number is not going to diminish very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, those who leave the country now, uh, they, um, they are the ones who go abroad for studies. Uh, mm -hmm. But those who have established businesses here, they prefer to stay here. And that's the case for most of us because we... Uh, we we have our own businesses, we're very happy here, we don't find any problems, we don't see any discriminations against Armenians. Uh, the contrary, I, I mm -hmm. feel that sometimes this is a, an advantage to be an Armenian in, uh, in, in Egypt. So uh, most of us are very happy to, be, mm -hmm. to stay here and uh, unless for some force majeure, I don't know, nobody thinks of leaving the country and it's not like the case, as I said, in the end of the 50s and 60s when f maybe political reasons, uh, as most Armenians were heads of businesses, and uh, mm -hmm. so they saw nationalization. nationalization. So, yeah. uh, apart from that, we yeah, uh, nationalization forced some even of the Egyptians to immigrate or to leave the country. Exactly, uh, then, yes. of course, yeah. it's very much, um, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, acceptable for other nationalities of the Armenian community live in Egypt to have formed even or at least help in informing the cultural heritage of Egypt, whether in art or in culture. Mm -hmm. I would like to shed light more on those characters course affecting your life and mm -hmm. um, can be considered as examples as symbols or giving you lessons in how to succeed or live a successful life uh, well uh, Armenians have contributed a lot in and uh, in, in politics in Egypt uh, we contribute in the development of, uh, of this country mm -hmm. uh, we had famous artists still we have famous artists unfortunately we don't have any politicians anymore mm -hmm. but we have uh, we have artists who contribute in uh, the movie scene or in the artistic scene, we had painters, we had uh, uh, musicians, uh, we have mm -hmm. uh, all types. And since the number of the community diminished now, that's why uh, the number of influential well, there Armenians. Families. There were families, yes. uh, I mean, concentrating in a, a special field. Yes. Uh, but of course, not so many people know mm -hmm. uh, that those were uh, Egyptian Armenians. Uh, then we can mention some names. Uh, yes, of course. We have, for example, we have, uh, for example, I can mention the name of Sarokhan, who was a famous painter, mm -hmm. uh, who just people uh, knew his paintings, maybe without knowing about his origins. Mm -hmm. And even it's um, uh, it's difficult to differentiate Egyptian Armenian from an Egyptian. That's why uh, we have many artists now these days who are Egyptian Armenians, but they they're known as Egyptians, like uh, like Anushka. We had Nelly, we had Lebleba, Still, we have them, of course, and. Um, uh, Egyptians, so uh, it's you cannot differentiate uh, between these and these. And uh, Armenians were also family. Uh, many Armenian families famous in uh, in printing processes, in jewelry, because Armenians are very good jewelers also. Um, artists, artists, exactly. Yeah. So uh, oh, the Armenians they have uh, this um, artistic touch in dealing with things. Yes, exactly. Yeah, if I'm talking about such a successful dentist like Dr. Bacon, he has this way of doing this in an artistic manner. Tell me about your career. Uh, I'm a dentist. I graduated from the Cairo University in 1983. I've been working since in my own clinic until mm -hmm. now. From where do you get your information about what's going on in the Egyptian community? I mean, what newspaper do you prefer? Mm -hmm. What channels on TV? And why have you decided this, not that? I mean, mm -hmm. uh, of course, this comes with experience. This comes with uh, speaking with others. This comes with the credibility you feed. Yes. 
I'd like to speak more about this. Uh, I'm very much interested in what uh, in Egyptian politics, in Egyptian uh, problems, whether domestic or international, uh, because uh, my fate or our community's fate is related to Egypt. We are Egyptians, and whatever interests Egyptians interests us as Armenian, Egyptian mm -hmm. Armenians, mm -hmm. besides being interested, of course, of Armenian politics. Mm -hmm. It's a very difficult situation or it's very hard to explain because at the same time we have to follow mm -hmm. uh, the Egyptian uh, problems, politics, and at the same time we have to follow Armenian politics. Yeah. For Egyptian politics, of course, uh, I get the information from, uh, from local newspapers, mm -hmm. so read newspapers every day, uh, the news stories, uh, so we have a, a, a lot of uh, news channels uh, which I follow the, the news and uh, I react of course with anything which touches uh, Egyptians as uh, Egyptians are affected with anything which affects their pride or, um, or their problems. I follow Egyptian news and uh, it's very important to stay in touch because uh, we are Egyptians, we, we don't think as foreigners. Of course I know that the program is about foreigners who live in Egypt but in this case we are not foreigners we are egyptians uh, of armenian origin this is our yeah. definition and we have most of us or many of us have both nationalities now uh, now that armenia is an independent state so our uh, our news sources are the same as armenians yeah. we read egyptian books uh, you know since the very first uh, question i had and uh, your answer and what i felt from you as being in love with egypt and armenia in the mm -hmm. same time i felt for example, if there's a match between Armenia and Egypt, <laughs> then whom you are going to cheer for? Well, that's a very difficult question and we even had a, a poll about it in our website to see what people think about this. Uh, it is a very, really hard. I myself, I would prefer a draw, I mean, between the two, uh, <laughs> between the two countries if you have a football match. But it depends where, where they're playing. For example, if Armenia uh, comes to play in Egypt, I mean, as Armenian, uh, I would go there to cheer Armenia. Yeah. Because uh, I would consider they them as a guest. That. Yeah. Yes, as yeah. a guest, and they're coming to cheer here. But I was, for example, uh, on a vacation in Armenia, and the Egyptian team would come and play there. I would cheer for Egypt. Mm -hmm. uh, if this is repeated quite often, I would say that would go for it. Yes. You know, I'm enjoying speaking with you because I think that I'm I'm speaking with somebody who is such a mix between two cultures yes. uh, in in a, in a wonderful manner. But I'd like to have a message from you mm -hmm. to the Armenian community in Egypt mm -hmm. about it. Well, uh, for the Armenian community, uh, I can give this message uh, that um, uh, whatever you do in your life in, uh, in Egypt, just remember mm -hmm. that you have two nationalities mm -hmm. and don't let uh, one nationality uh, overcome the other nationality in all your actions. Remember that you are uh, an Egyptian, at the same time you are an Armenian. Mm -hmm. You have a duty uh, for Egyptian people, for the Egyptian government, uh, as, uh, as a thank you because this government or this country uh, took in the Egyptians in very hard times when uh, the Egyptian Armenians uh, ran away from Turkey during the genocide in 1915 and Egypt opened up its mm -hmm. arms for the Armenian refugees who mm -hmm. escaped the Turkish massacres and they arrived in Port Said. Uh, in 1915, 1916, and they even the Egyptian government opened up schools for for these orphanages, and we have even monuments in the uh, cemetery, even in Port Said, indicating this. They took in our schools, they integrated Armenians, they welcomed, they gave us food in very difficult periods. So uh, we are very thankful to this government. Us our, uh, ourselves as Armenians living in uh, in Egypt, we have to think also of our country which is in need of, uh, of our contribution. Uh, Armenia is in need of the efforts of all Armenians who are abroad uh, to, uh, to prosper, to, to talk about this country, to, yeah. to, 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 to do their best in order to keep Armenians' to name up. To develop, to share in to the progress share. of this society. Of this, uh, yes, exactly. Take me back to Cairo I've been away so long I must return to Cairo